this is about informed consent. It is about being informed before making a procedure decision. In this particular instance, it's about a child's uh, life. It's about the life inside that mother. And as I said when speaking on Senate Bill 3 uh, a few weeks ago, if ever there was a time when we needed all the information we can get our hands on, it's when life and death is at stake. There was a member of the press that uh, beat me up after that remark, after the remarks I made on Senate Bill 3 talking about um, how the state can kill some people and I believe the state shouldn't kill unborn children and there was a distinction between convicted felons and unborn children and I, uh, I wanted to say at the time that these unborn children are innocent, they haven't been convicted of anything, they're, uh, they're in need of our protection. And it's a life. It's a life, and if ever we were going to have all the decisions or all the information to make that best decision, this is a time to do that, to take every precaution. One of the statements, and this is the second thing I wanted to mention, really my last thought, Mr. President. This was mentioned in committee. I heard it mentioned last year when this bill came up. Mr. President, I would ask for the members of this body to hear my words, and I hope the members of the body at the other end of this building hear my words. The idea that some woman would be shamed or guilted because of listening to this procedure, and, and trust me, as a prosecutor, I, and I said this a couple weeks ago, I'm as close to the evil that brings about life sometimes uh, as I ever want to be. I, I don't want to be there, and I don't want to experience that, but I understand that as much as, I, as a prosecutor can, but it's still life. But we're, we're talking about the arguments of guilting and shaming a woman into listening to the description of this unborn child or seeing an ultrasound image. I think there's a hidden truth there that I want to make sure people hear and, and think about. If the opponents to legislation like this, if pro-choice opponent or fans of pro-choice legislation, if they continue to make the argument that a, that a mother would feel shame or guilt, Mr. President, I believe that is a tacit agreement with me that that's a life, that that is a living human being. Because if it's not, what difference does it make? If that unborn child is not really alive and there's no question about that, there's no chance that they can feel pain. No chance that there's a heartbeat. No chance that they could become a beautiful creation of God outside of the womb where before it was formed he knew them. If that really wasn't an issue, then what difference does it make? Why, why the debate? I believe they know it's a life just like I do. And this bill could save some. 